Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, we're continuing our studies of the 2019 ICD-10-CM coding guidelines. So pull out your guidelines and let's continue where we stopped. We were down at Chapter 1B. Today we're talking about infectious and parasitic diseases. Let me show you the guideline. Okay. Guideline states some of that bright light off. Infectious agents as the cause of diseases classified to other chapters. Certain infections are classified in chapters other than chapter 1 and no organism is identified as part of the infection code. In these instances it is necessary to use an additional code from chapter 1 to identify the organism. A code from category B95, Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, and Enterococcus as the cause of diseases classified to other chapters. B96, other bacterial agents as the cause of diseases classified to other chapters. Or B97, viral agents as the cause of diseases classified to other chapters is to be used as an additional code to identify the organism. An instructional note will be found at the infection code advising that an additional organism code is required. Alright, so what are we saying here? What I'm saying is a lot of times in order to appropriately code an infection, we have to capture all of the codes. But sometimes when you look up that code in your code books and you go to use that code or decode it, it just doesn't identify the infectious agent or organism that's causing the disease. For example, with the urinary tract infection. Urinary tract infections are caused by different types of bacteria. Which bacteria? E. coli, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, whatever agent is causing the urinary tract infection needs to be identified. So when you look up urinary tract infection, does it identify that organism there? In the code, when I look up UTI, it goes to N39.0. N39.0 just identifies urinary tract infection. It doesn't tell me what infectious agent, what bacteria caused the infection. So what I have to do then is I have to identify that organism. The way to identify that organism is to look up the main term infection. Go to main term infection to find it. Another thing that you have to remember when you're identifying um, infections is I, when you have acute and chronic infection that the type of infection takes precedence over the acute and chronic. For example, let's say that your patient has chronic gonococcal cystitis chronic gonococcal cystitis. Let me show it to you in the code books. Alright, if you look here, main term cystitis. Right there. Main term cystitis, bold print, flush left, cystitis. I said chronic gonococcal. So if you go down, chronic is right there in 30.20. Gonococcal is right there, A54.01. Because gonococcal and chronic are on the same level, indented two spaces in from the main term, gonococcal takes precedence as far as your coding over chronic because gonococcal gives you more information. It tells you a little more about what type of infection is going on. So that gonococcal will take precedence when coding and sometimes you'll find chronic or acute up underneath the type of infection. But in this case you don't. So in this case gonococcal will take precedence. And when I was telling you about infection, looking up the main term infection, let me show you that as well. If I go to the main term infection and let's say for that UTI, 
I wanted to identify E. coli UTI. And when I looked up the UTI, it gave me the N39.0, and I need to identify the E. coli. Under main term infection, go down and find E. coli. I have it in pink because I use it so often. There it is. B96.20. Okay? And let's say, for example, it was staphylococcus or streptococcal. In that case, I'd go down, under, still under main term, infection. And I'm identifying they're in alphabetical order. So when I get down to staphylococcal, and you identify the fact here, that it's a, as a cause of diseases classified elsewhere, B95.8. And then same thing with streptococcal. As a cause of disease classified elsewhere, B95.5. But we're still under the main term, infection. Okay, guys? So as you're doing this, as you're looking up your conditions, and if you've done a thorough search under the main term for the type of infection that your patient is experiencing, and you don't see a subterm that identifies the organism, then go to main term, infection, to pick up that organism. And sometimes right at the infection code, at N39.04 um, UTI, let me show you that as well. There is a note here in the code book showing me. In 39.0, urinary tract infection. Notice the note there. Use additional code from B95 through B97 to identify the infectious agent. So it's telling you there to use an additional code to identify your infectious agent. Okay, guys? All right. That was a big, in the beginning when I first started coding, that was a, a, a heartache for me. I, I struggled with that one, so I wanted to make sure I shared that with you and go into that in a little more detail. But we're going to continue our studies, so that's it for today. Thanks. I will see you in the next one.